Active for Liner. I am a women's wear fashion designer and I'm known for my lace collections which comprise a vintage lace and crochet bits. Uh, I was a wardrobe stylist for many years. Um, I worked in retail out of college and then I worked as a wardrobe stylist. My first gig was with Aerosmith when they were doing their big comeback with Alicia Silverstone. I styled the band as well as Alicia and all the subsequent little mini movies that we did. When you've done that much work with clothing, you already have an education about what it takes for somebody to be clothed in a certain manner. The person who wears my clothing, um, I don't think so much about her face specifically or her coloring, I think more so about her spirit. The way she carries herself. This was named after Ashley Olsen and it's been my most requested garment. I think that's always been the signature of my collections is that it's not overtly sexy, yet it still has sex appeal. Every big, big name in fashion, I was able to really have a, a first-hand knowledge and account of what those garments were about and what that really meant. A lot of the Victorian times and even into the 20s, would be white cotton or heavy drop cloths, but they would be stitched or etched with hand crocheted um, trim. And that's pretty much what I work with. The trims from the tablecloths, from the nightgowns, from the bed coverings. I've always collected vintage, and I started collecting these lace bits. And it gets hard to justify just collecting something and not becoming a hoarder. Uh, so one evening I got my dress form and I sat in front of the television and with some these lace bits and I just started creating um, this garment. Uh, a lot of repetition out of the ribbons actually that I had accumulated. Each lace garment is hand assembled by me. I would be happy to train somebody to do what I do, but they really have to be a little manic <laughs> to sit there with those pins and a dress form and loads of crochet and lace bits. My house, my environment, really influences my work. I have been approached by somebody who's been very generous that said to me, you know, we can duplicate all of these lace dresses and do mass market. We can do them in China, I've got the factory, you know we can copy anything. And it'd be quality. But then everybody could have these dresses. And I said, you know, the people who want those dresses, they like the fact that not everybody has these dresses. I really think it's the touch that I put into each garment that makes each garment special.